Oh, my heart is, and uh, thank you to to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome to our TikTok Live for Monday evening. Fantastic stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Monday the 14th of June. Nothing gets past me, you see. So do feel free to come and join us. I don't know if you've got football or you haven't got football or whatever, but here we are here, and a very, very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you to this. Derry joining us if you're scrolling of course remember to stop right away you have no need to scroll because you have arrived at your destination this is what it's all about it's got a clue live on tiktok just for you saying dinky do most of you should get your notifications through to let you know that scotty mcclue is going live hashtag flow tie the first lord of the internet that is the big one the world's most humble man the world's top broadcaster and the father of feminism. How amazing is that? What a wonderful array of titles for a gentleman to have. And thank you, thank you very much for supporting me over the years. Hey, Scotty, my day has already improved. Sean in Arizona. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Good afternoon, Scotty, says Seaman in Canada. Tremendous. Boom. Boom, wolf man. Good evening, Scotty McLean. Thank you, dude. Big Scotty. Mike, man, how are you? Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic stuff. I can't believe just how good these lives are. And it's all because of your good selves. Tremendous stuff. I think there's a real quality about the people that gather here. <coughs> yes, of course we get the odd wee troll. But so what? May I ask who the man is behind you? That's me. There we are and Lord Vith the Labrador. There we are. Have you heard the good news? I've heard a lot of good news. Scotty, you are a legend. Did you watch the match, Scotty? Unlucky. I did, Glenn. I saw the match, and yes, very, very unlucky, yes. I would like to have seen that. <coughs> I had thought perhaps one all. Yes, but, uh, but there we go. You know, the, as Robert Burns used to say, and he was a very wise man. The best laid plans of mice and men gang aft a glee. <laughs> so there we are. Fantastic. I have been promoted. Carl, that's brilliant news. There we are. I have a drama mock tomorrow. Porco, you will be outstanding in that. Make that decision now. Remember, I can and I will. And remember, before you go on to do your drama, then you see this is the moment, and I am the one. How amazing is that? Scotty always makes my day. Aaron, lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty. It's Mrs. Lerwick here. Oh, Mrs. Lerwick. Yes, Lord and Mrs. Lerwick. <laughs> Fantastic. How is little Ella tonight? Is she sleeping? We need to know. I think we should be told. Fantastic. We all love Scotty. Did you do, guys? 2-0. Yeah, we're, I'm well aware of the result. Thank you very much for that. But as I say, my prediction was one all, you know, but there we go, you see. Shows what I know, doesn't it? Anyway, come and join us as soon as you possibly can. You're very, very welcome. Can you say happy anniversary? So there we are. Yes, I can, anyone. No problem at all. Well, 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 my nemesis, we meet again. Ah, Shan. Yes, we will always meet, you know, never a problem. Right, here's what you're watching so that you know. You're watching live, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag flow tie. Follow me on TikTok, at Scotty McClue. Tap the plus sign at the top left. Follow, share, like, and watch. Did you do tap the Instagram logo for Instagram and YouTube? Go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, and tap the bell. Now, that's not too difficult, is it? <coughs> Everybody should manage that. I love you, says Miss Jacqueline. Thank you, Miss Jacqueline. Very, very kind of you. Ella's lying here in my arms asleep, having mummy cuddles. Is that not wonderful? This time last week, you must have wondered, you know? Tell us, <laughs> spill the beans. Isn't that lovely? This is a lovely lady in Lerwick who has just given birth to a bundle of joy called Ella. <clears throat> and she very kindly shared it with us live on TikTok. Jesus loves you. Dinky do, says Mike Man. Dinky do, Mike Man. Jesus loves you, says Deb. 
Yes, indeed. Jesus actually adores us, then, believe it or not. Fantastic. Scotty, you watch football more often now. I don't think so, Glenn. No, no, no. I think that was, uh, you know, I mean, you can only take so much disappointment, you know. So I don't think I'll watch anymore. So there we are. Uh, Logan, that's a wee bit impolite. You know, a wee bit impolite. So there we are. So I think Logan should take that back. Yes, absolutely. It might be the other way around. And then you'd have to eat your words. That wouldn't be very nice, would it? Don't try that at home, folks. So you can check Logan's post, but I'm having nothing, nothing to do with it. There we go. Now, who have we got here? Uh, Viadi, dinky do, lovely to have you. How very dare you, says Shan. No, I don't think so, says Logan. Well, you never know, Logan. You know, make sure you are very careful. Yes, Scotty, now you know how us in Sheffield, <laughs> in Sheffield, Wednesday fans, feel rough with the smooth. Oh, Glenn, yes, is it not just? Up the Owls, <coughs> up the United, uh, like the day, pal, did you do sideways fit like? Any consolation you had, the tournament's best goal? Against you. Yes, I did, Kalilo. Thank you. Scotty, good evening. Good evening. Ella's a week old today. It's been such an emotional time, but so in love. Larry Gal, this is just fabulous. And, of course, the whole world knows about Ella. We love that. Yes. Are you from uh, uh, CBS, the one called Jack? Uh, I don't know, Vianney. No, I don't think so. Hello all the way from Ibiza. Lovely to have you from my Bista channel. Uh, Central Scottish, do you have any Irish friends? Uh, millions, millions, yes. Scotty McClue is huge in Ireland. There we are. Scotland's got a terrible team, says Logan. No, 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 Logan. You know, they played very, very well. It just wasn't quite enough. And that off the bar, I mean, oh, dearie, 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 dearie me. I want to take you to batch, says Mark Markey. <coughs> Hello. Hello, Ancient. How lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Share the live video, guys, and follow me as soon as you possibly can. Uh, what your pronouns, spells, we don't do any of that. We're all-inclusive on here. Pronouns are very old-fashioned. There we are. Nobody asks about that nowadays. Follow us as soon as you can. It's the other Shan. Scotty the Owl started playing at Olive Grove before United played at Bramall Lane. How interesting, Glenn. Never a dull moment, dear boy. That is fantastic. Your voice is so nice. I wish my voice was like yours. Viadi, perhaps your voice is like mine. Who's in the picture at the back? That'll be me then and the Lord Wreath. The Labrador. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you tell me what Brexit was and what we will do. Brexit was the British exit from the European Union put out to um, a referenda which did not need to be acted on at all, had the same legal standing as an opinion poll, but the government pressed ahead because there were obviously concerned because some rich people might have to pay their tax. So the rich people obviously said, get us out of Europe right now before these Europeans start looking through our stuff. So there was a lot of pressure put on the British people. And of course, xenophobia, you know, stood up the xenophobia, ah, get our country back, all that. Our country, of course, hadn't been anywhere. And we had 30% of the market, along with our dear friends and allies, Germany. 52 countries, 510 million people. But they kept pressing ahead. They kept pressing ahead and pushing so the rich didn't have to pay the tax. And uh, out we came from Europe. And it's cost us £200 billion to date with nothing to show for it. Done in our economy, economic annihilation. And uh, we'll fragment the United Kingdom into separate countries. Uh, just divide the lot. So Brexit's probably the worst decision since the First World War. Worst act of self-harm. There you go. And of course, 50 years of peace and prosperity in Europe and the infrastructure of the United Kingdom vastly, vastly improved with European money. 
So Brexit will cause economic annihilation and it will also uh, cause the breakup of the UK, the political fragmentation. Will Scotland win the Euros? That's for me to know and you to find out. But is it coming home? This is what we wonder. Yes, absolutely. Hey, where are you from, mate? I'm from Scotland. There we are. Do you support Black Lives Matter? Well, of course, that doesn't matter on here because we're all inclusive. And it's a silly question, really, because everybody supports Black Lives Matter. Why should Black Lives be different from any other lives? So every life matters, and we're all inclusive on here because all of us used to be black. You see, the whole world was black when we all lived in the African Rift Valley. There we are. Hello, sir. Hello, J10. So there we are. Who is going to win the Euro? What are your pro We don't discuss pronouns. You've just told you that. Pay attention. Scotty, there's always history behind the founders of sports clubs. Oh, yes, Glenn. I mean, Rangers and Celtic. Celtic was founded by the priests to help the poor Catholic boys in Glasgow, give them a recreation. And Rangers was founded, um, I think, by a lot of the people coming over from Ireland to work in Scotland. I, I don't know all the background, but they are fascinating. Scotty, I love your broadcast. Keep it up. Flying cow, I thank you. You are a source of inspiration because as a broadcaster, you never know if people really love it or if they don't. But all the evidence of Scotty McClue live on TikTok live has been overwhelming for success. Do you know what I mean? And in general, I've had success throughout my whole career because I've, I've put in the work, you know, I've put in the hours. And I only had one bad experience with a very, very bad man. And, um, you know, he uh, managed to relieve me of my life savings. But apart from that, everything has been very, 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 very good. I remember starting a radio station 30 years ago. Central FM, it's called. It's still on air and successful to this day. 30 years. Incredible. So there we go, but thank you. Ah, did you win? Um, slightly not, slightly not. Um, do you like a night off from your dog? Paul, my dog passed away six weeks ago. Don't worry, I'm not guilt tripping you. Don't feel bad about it because you want to know. But, um, you know, I've had several nights off and my goodness, do I miss him. And I still look under the table where his basket was to go, is he all, oh, he's not there. You know, so about about six weeks ago, we lost Lord Clyde. There we are. No one cares about pronouns here, says Small. You're quite right, Small. What do you do make of the football path? Well, uh, the only th thing I would say that would have made it slightly better is if Scotland had won, but, um, but they didn't. Uh, so that's that. Apart from that, it was a very good game. Uh, what do you think about the elderly having free bus travel? Amelia, I'm looking forward to it myself. Do you know, get on there, uh, assuming I make it to old age. Follow us, everybody, as soon as you possibly can. We're very short on followers. What can I say to you to actually get you to follow? Now, come on. I've asked you nicely. <laughs> Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, hashtag full time, follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClue. And guys, follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. If you've got a Twitter account, get on to Scotty McClue at Scotty McClue and follow me. 4,000 people have already done it, so a few more won't make any difference, you know. It'd be fantastic. You're all welcome. Uh, follow us on here as soon as you can. There's the lovely Maria Knight sending Two gorgeous red roses. Maria, you are such a princess. Uh, best thing now, build the wall. Build the wall what? Between Mexico? Do you support Celtic? Well, everybody supports Celtic. Not every Rangers supporter would confess to it, but they do. You know, I mean, we love Celtic. 
Uh, hello, Scotty, Dinky Doo, Derek, hello, lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure, is Big Roddy still growing? Did you enjoy GB News? I did enjoy GB News, and I've done a little video of congratulations and best wishes. You'll see it on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, and you'll see it on the TikTok videos. It says, congratulations on the launch of GB News. So, uh, you know, I sent it off to Andrew, and uh, and uh, who knows, you know. How can Boris sign a deal about Ireland, then go back in it, say we'll sort it out later? Well, that's Boris, isn't it? I mean, Ireland's been chucked under a bus. Northern Ireland, you mean. 2-0 to check. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know, thank you. I don't think we're needing a reminder. Scotland lost, yes, we know, Ellie. We know. No more reminders. Uh, true. Jesus loves you, just letting you know. Some people have yelled at me for saying this. Jessica, anybody that's yelled at you has felt the power of Jesus surging through them. Never, ever, ever be put off by anybody yelling at you. These are people who don't understand. Yes, Jesus is wonderful and dwells among us. Don't get mad, says OMG. No, no. Don't get mad, OMG. Get even. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello, Scotty. Would you love to go to Switzerland? I'm asking because Switzerland is such a beautiful place. It is our dear, and the flag is also a big plus. You know, and that's a, that's a good thing. Do you sell bird seed? No, any birds that come to see me don't normally eat seed. They're more interested in chocolate. Jesus loves you. Greetings from Vienna, from Austria. Dang, dang, ding. Greetings from v Tales from Vienna Woods. Remember that. Da -di 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 -di. Robert, uh, nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Ausländer, nicht verstehen. But uh, I love, yes, Vienna. I know it well, believe it or not. And I love your cathedral with the zigzag roof. Have you still got that? Uh, Scotty, what are your pronouns? You, you know, Anarch, we don't do pronouns. We're too modern. We're all inclusive on here. You don't have to justify yourself. Scotty, do you remember me, Derek? Of course I do. Peaky Blinder. Peaky Blinder. I help. Right. Uh, are you the man from the show? Uh, yes, I'm the man from the show. Thank you for making my childhood man. Oh, wow. Scotty McClure fan going away back. Now, I, Pat, what you tend to do, you're spamming me now. So I think we'll have to dump you if you don't stop. There we are. You're the best thing on TikTok. That boy, you're very kind. Very, very kind. Kurdistan loves you. Mohammed, I thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Excellent stuff. Scotty, how art thou, my dear sir? Eddie Doyle, um, I am so, my dear sir. Fair chap. <laughs> how lovely. Scotland lost two. No, I'm in Slovakia. Yeah, we know, loudy. Uh, Scotty, boy, what your pronouns are not? We never ever do the pronouns. There's nobody listening. As uh, so there we are. Right. We're getting spammed by iPad. IPAT's just about to go down the swanee for spamming. Is that not naughty? Right, uh, wait till we see. Where is it? Hold on. Ah, there it goes. That's it. Lovely. Good. Well, that's uh, fantastic. Uh, I'm so sorry, Scotland. Not at all, Pekudge. Very, very kind of you to even say anything. Yes. Oh, dear Ella Stirring, time to sing a lullaby. Dinky do. My my father would play her the cradle song. La da di da di da di di. Ra da da di di di. There we are, fantastic. James Scott Skinner, the famous violinist. I learned so much from your life, Scotty Richard. You're such a top man. Remember, if you're learning from Scotty McClure's vibes, you are already a very, very wise man. What about that? You're two dogs. I thought you only had Lord Reith. No, MSN. Lord Reith was first. He appeared in 1993 and passed away, I think it was... Uh, 2005. Yes, he was, no, he was 13. 
So it must have been 2006. And then along came Lord Clyde. And Lord Clyde was already five months old and rather stunningly gorgeous. I fell in love with him uh, because somebody gave me him, a super, super person gave me him. Because they said, they saw me walking in the park and they said, that man's missing his dog. And I ended up with the beautiful Lord Clyde and he was with me for 14 and a half years. So two beautiful Labradors, Lord Reith and Lord Clyde. That's Lord Reith. And you'll see Lord Clyde on the TikTok videos on the outrun with a gammy back leg. See how fast he is. Because he took a wee stroke when he was four. Hello, Scotty. Greetings from Norwich. I'm in Milford Haven this weekend. Take it you. We love Milford Haven, Neil. The big port. Yes. Do you like rugby? Like it? I don't like rugby. I love it. <laughs> Uh, they used to play. Scotland's the best team. Yep, they just needed to get another couple of goals today. I think that might well have done it. There we are. Maria Dinkido. Scotty Clyde and Reith will always be with you. Sorry if I pronounced Reith wrong. Uh, no, Glenn, it's R-E-I-T-H, because he's called after Lord Reith, who started the BBC. Baron Reith of Stonehaven. John Charles Walsham Reith. Uh, hello, mate. Thank you, do. Scotty, please pray for us. My sister has COVID. Geo Dog, our prayers are being spoken and our thoughts are with you. Yes, love and strength to you and to your sister and to your family. Love and strength to your sister and to you and to your family. There we are. Just get things in the right order. There, so we send her strength. Everybody pray for Geodog's sister. Geodog is in South Africa and is one of the world's great gentlemen. Glasgow Rangers champions. There we are. But if you've said that, I've got to shout, Mon the hoops in the interest of balance. My dad likes uh, these hubs. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Scotty, love our little chats. How are you today? I love your lives. Clickster. Are you dinky do? That's the most important thing. Is everybody who's watching following? That's what I need to know. Thank you, Clickstar. Great show. Thank you, odd fellow. It's coming home. Yes, it's taking its time. I can tell. Hey, Scotty. Dinky do. Are you Scottish? Hang on, Mikey. Yes, I think I am. Isn't that amazing? Fantastic. Uh, it's coming home very slowly. Scotland to beat England. Do you think Scotland will give England a damn good thrashing? What do you think, guys? Or do you think England will give Scotland a damn good thrashing? Sorry, I shouldn't swear. A dashed good thrashing. Oh, 2 nil, says Logan. Yes, we do know, Logan. Yes, yes, it's, it's getting back to us here. Uh, do you plan on getting a new dog? Well, Kulelo, um, I'm just having a little break from the responsibility because Lord Clyde, um, you know, needed quite a bit of help upstairs, things like that near the end. Uh, so I, I was carrying him in and out of the car. Not that he was heavy. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. And I just adored the weasel. And he would look at you as if to go, thank you. Thank you. When he would lie down in the car. <laughs> ah, just beautiful. Huge communication. None of my dogs have ever barked. Lord Clyde would talk to you if you were taken for a walk. He would be in the back of the car and you'd say, So, uh, are we going for a walk, Clyde? Ooh. Yes, we're a big walk. Ooh. <laughs> and he would do that. <laughs> Fantastic. It used to make me smile. Gold de España. Hola, mi alamo, Scotty McClure. Uh, and no, Chris, don't be ridiculous. Uh, there we are. Hello from Germany. We love you, Ralph. Ralph in Germany. And I say to you, I say to you, Ralph, nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Ausländer, nicht verstehen. Guten Tag. But then tag my friend. There we are. What's your favorite year, Dinky Do? I think um, I like the 1930s, stuff like that. My grandfather's car was 1932. 100 pounds, kit of tools, Morris 8. Brand new from Morris. 
Um, so 1932, 34, 35, 36. Um, then the 1950s, the 1960s, the 1970s, the 1980s, the 1990s, the 2000s, the 2010s, the 2020s. I'm loving them. So my favorite year of the lot has to be 2021. <laughs> How about that, my loves? And uh, thank you do. Who have we got here? Evening to Scotty. Good evening to you, fat spoon with a PH. Scotty, do you remember late call on TV at night? Of course I do, Eddie. I used to introduce it on Scottish television. The theme tune went da ra 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 and then the lights came up, and there was a priest or a minister who would go like this. Hello. What kind of day have you had? I've had a most interesting day. You know, and they were talking about that, and it was fantastic. And I remember one of the announcers had forgotten about the eight call, and the next thing was a horror movie. And he, we used to have pop-up in vision, and he said to the audience, now it's time for your appointment with fear. And the music went, da 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 dee dee and up popped a wee priest. Because <laughs> it was for the movie after late call. <laughs> I love the pin in your hat. The beautiful Maria has sent us a lollipop. We love you, Maria. Thank you so much. Do you have any advice when things get hard, please? I love you, Pop. I have huge advice for things when, when things get challenging. And that is to call upon your inner strengths. That's when you say, I can and I will. This is the moment and I am the one. When the very, 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 very bad man relieved me of my life savings, I didn't think I would ever recover. And you just have to start planning a very long walk back. Yes, yes. And you have to unpick all the damage and you have to put everything right. And that's the way ahead. And you call upon yourself. Do you have ears? Yes, yes, absolutely. My buccaneers. There we are. And um, I fold them in, you see, at night. It was a lesson I learned from Dr. Spock uh, from Vulcan, <laughs> from the Vulcanites. <laughs> I do have ears. <laughs> There's one. I've got very neat little ears, you see. <laughs> Scotty, my friend Hamish finally passed his year six exams. He's nearly 23, but he finally did it. Morgan, woo! We love it. Congratulations to Hamish. Sorry if I clap too loud if you're wearing headphones. Good evening, Scotty. Juliet, how lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do from Scotty McClure. We're live on TikTok just for you. Guys, how's the lighting? Is there enough light? Yes, it was looking a wee bit dark, is it? Tell me if there's enough light. Scotty, I don't understand people who dislike dogs. Well, I think there may be, no, they don't dislike them, damn it. They're just not sure of them because they've been, maybe had a bad experience when they were tiny. Like when I was about three, a big dog gave me a shove with his nose, friendly, and I fell down. You know, things like that, but it didn't put me off dogs. You know, love and like, everybody. The light's nice. Thank you, Matrix. Very, very good of you. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear. May the Lord see fit to serve karma. Oh, Jim, don't you worry, my darling. I have seen karma in action, and it's very, very powerful, even in a small way. And yes, karma, you know. Because anybody, you know, that's, that harms McClue, karma. Karma, it's so powerful. The world is so powerful. The world has got an energy of its own. True story about a homeless man who busts with a cat. Sadly, the cat passed away. Yes. I am sorry. Cats are beautiful, but cats have nine lives. And who was the cat? Was the cat someone else in a previous life? I sometimes used to look at Lord Clyde sleeping and think, who are you? 
are you my father? You know, from a previous life. Scotty, can you give my friend Ben a shout out? He loves you. Dinky do, I will win. No problem. Columba, yes, St. Columba. Guys, can everybody follow us? Hello, Scotty, says Pantofan. I am dead. What you mean is you're tired. You would know if you were dead. Uh, it would slow down your typing. Love you, dinky do, Jim. Thank you so much. Long live you, my friend. May the Father bless all that you do. Cool cat. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. There we go. Uh, I like the dog talking to you in the car story. Could see you missed him, but you brought great joy. Oh, Colenio, he was funny. And, you know, you would run out of things to say. So do you want to go for a very big walk then? Oh, very big walk, yes. <laughs> and a long day. And some, sometimes it would break into a little bark. And I would phone a friend of mine and say, Can the dog have a word with you, please? And I'd go, Clyde, tell them where you're going. You're going, going for a walk. Ooh. Oh, woo. yes, there we are. He just wanted to phone you and tell you. I love this live feed, Mark. That's a lovely thing to say. I thank you. Well, the whole world's watching, you see. Hello from Australia. Don't be fooled by small numbers. They grow and grow. I mean, for instance, yesterday, I think it was 15,000 people joined us yesterday over the, the course of the lives. 15,000. 600,000 have watched over the last six weeks. Weeks, but I've only got 15,000 followers. Now that's not fair. Come on, guys. You're welcome, sir. I thank you, Mark. Cheers, Paris is bald. Hello, Scotty. I hope you're doing well, good sir. Spartan, we are doing amazingly well for my age, you know. Can I have your hat? Well, Emma, I need it, but we will get you one when I become TikTok famous. Yes, once we've got a million followers. Uh, my pantomime's been pulled due to the delay of the England lockdown. It was meant to be Humpty Dumpty. No, it was not. Oh, yes, it was. There we are. Uh, and I hope you hadn't been practicing falling off the wall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men would be there. Uh, I send you strength. I send you love, Pantoland. Uh, there are massive, massive demands for your talents out there. You will find a way. And thank you for everything you do. We love Panto. And we know you don't get the huge financial rewards, but the joy of doing pantomime. Right, boys and girls, how are you all? <laughs> so you bring myth to those who are downtrodden. Debts, we send strength. Because remember, all of us are only one paycheck away. Yes, indeed. What your opinion on the Rambo's movies? I wouldn't like to be on the wrong side of Rambo. Do you know what I mean? So I'd, I'd call him, hello, sir. <laughs> My typing errors are kicking in. Lerwick Gull, do not worry. Dinky do, I say. Uh, or Dougla Dougla. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, ever come to Ireland, to Kerry? Yes, the Ring of Kerry. I was down at uh, Clonakilty. I swam with Lord Reith in Galway Bay. I was at uh, Cork. I was at Cork, I tell you. Beautiful, stunningly beautiful. Do you know what I love about Ireland? You've got perhaps the most beautiful beaches in the world, and there's hardly a soul on them. You can walk it yourself. Fantastic. Scotty lad, uh, when we'll have to do it again then, won't we? Uh, Apologise to those in Panto land. Yes, indeed, MSN. We'll do the Panto again. Hello, boys and girls. Right. You have remarkable eyes. You don't use reading glasses. A dear dog. I have glasses. Have I got them here? I'll show you. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> see what I just did there? That was accidental. Somebody once said to me, you're very, very funny, Scotty. Said, well, I don't mean to be. <laughs> I do that. I can see them. Anyway, I do have glasses for driving and distance seeing, but um, I can't read with my glasses on. 
so I have to take them off to read. And I can remember my dear father, a lovely man, as I say, and his eyesight was different. It, we had a thing called the phone book, and everybody's number was in the book. And he used to get a hold of the book and go like this with it. Just looking for Mrs. McDonald's number. And then he would look up at the wind and go, Oh, look at the ducks flying over the hill. Isn't that beautiful? So, you know, how did he see that? Geo dog, I thank you. Uh, we had a lull. Uh, all pulled. Cheers, Scotty. We'll be back stronger than ever this Christmas. Panto fan, you will. And when you're on stage, just remember Scotty McClue's wee voice in your pocket saying, this is the moment and you are the one. <laughs> so, boys and girls, my half here, we're going to sing loudest, aren't we? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Now, I've not been very well, folks. Oh, oh well, I was a lot sicker than that. <laughs> Don't ever go, Scotty. Jim, thank you so much. You are terribly kind. Scotty, you're a blethering tumshe. Molly's words, not mine. Well, yes, yes, I mean, that's a fair point. Harsh, harsh, but fair. <laughs> I am a blethering tumshe. I can't really argue with that. Uh, and uh, Molly's words, tell him dinky-doo. <laughs> GDH. <laughs> Ever come to... Yes, we come to Ireland. We do that. The hearts will be back. This is my story. Or oh, the hearts will be back. Sorry, I thought you said the hearts. <laughs> do you have a title? Larry Gall, I have several titles. I am... Hashtag flow tie, all in uppercase, the first lord of the internet. I am the world's top broadcaster, but I don't push that in case it upsets other broadcasters. So that's a kind of mum's the word about that. I am, what else do I have titles wise? The world's most humble man, just in case anybody thinks I'm blowing my trumpet, you know full of the blow, and uh, what else do we have? And, oh, of course, the father of feminism. So there's four very big, powerful titles, you know? And I think I could probably give out my address for the first time ever. I was looking tonight, and I saw it said Downing Street, and I thought... Well, I live in Upping Street, and I live in number one. I live in one Upping Street. So should I get a lectern with Upping Street on it, and then you can have Upping Street and Downing Street? <laughs> Good evening, you very happy, Scott. Good evening, Jonty. How lovely to have you with us from Hallam, one of the finest radio stations in the world. Are you Scottish? Yes, I think so. Just calculating everything. I think I probably am. Pardon the pun, oh geodog, pardon the pun. A shout out to the Concordia Theatre in Hinkley. Yes, we love Hinkley. Hinkley. Fantastic. The Concordia. And everyone will coming back. User 685, I think what we'll do with you is just send you directly down the Swanee. Uh, user 685, guys, is leaving us. Can we wish him all the best for being puerile and tiny-minded? Gone. Gone. Watch. There he goes. Woo! Bye-bye, user. That'll teach you. You should see the beaches now, Scotty. They're crowded with the northerners coming down. Stare. And you can't blame the dear northerners for wanting to come to paradise. Now, come on. There you are. Remember, there's a huge connection. Yes, indeed. The northerners used to be the southerners. Uh, <laughs> what you do in your own time is entirely your own choice. Give it out of the chat, says MSN. He's gone, MSN, who probably won't hear you. Well, yes, he will hear you, because only I've blocked him. 
So he'll get that. You rooting, tooting Scotland, or oh, rooting, tooting Subby. Scotty, football is just about the banter. Glenn, it's the taking part. When we got thrashed today, I was trying to think of something apt to say to uh, sort of alleviate the disappointment and to bring some cheer, some good cheer to the people who were rather down. And uh, I thought, it's not the winning, it's the taking part. And everybody shouted back to me, no, it isn't. It. So that went down well. Uh, have you acted in films? I have, Jaunty, yes. Yes, I've acted. You know, I'm like that, blind as a bat, close up, eyes like a hot distance. So, Jackie, you've got my father's sight. I think he also had the second sight. But, Jackie, what's your sort of sight condition then? What would you call that long-sighted? Have I got that the right way around? Shh, not too loud. Ella's asleep again. Guys, can we keep it down, please? Ella, the newborn little baby in Lerwick, has dropped off to sleep. Lerwick gal, her lovely mother, is just a wee tad exhausted. And uh, I think if we keep the noise down for the next 15 minutes or so, then uh, that would be a good thing. Okay. <laughs> Shh. So not too loud, everybody. So if you're coming on, nay shouting. Have we got that? Scotty, you're awesome, Mark. You're such a kind man. Scotty Dinky Doo XX, by the way, go and subscribe to Scotty McClure on YouTube. Oh, yes, oh, wizard. I am so glad you've raised that. Guys, can you look at my profile? Tap the picture at the top, and that should bring you to the profile. There you will see the link to the YouTube channel. Can you go on to it and subscribe, please? And there are about 14, 1,500 brilliant videos for your edification, education, enjoyment, and delight. So get yourselves on there, I say. What did your grandson graduate in? Nice photo hanging up behind you. Ralphie, that's my grandson uh, twice removed. That's me. That's me last year, last week. You're the comfort of Scotland. Well, you've got to be better. Panther fan says you've got to be better than Alex Belfield. Oh, I know Alex Belfield. Yes, he's amazing. YouTube. Woo! Quite a character. There we are. Uh, shaving with the eyes that won't focus. Shaving with eyes. Shaving with the eyes that won't focus short distance. Sure is dangerous. Oh, Geodog, yes. Do you know Geodog, my grandfather? Lovely, lovely man. I might even have a picture of him. What if I've got a picture of granddad? Because I've, I had some family pictures and I was showing everybody them because they were pretty marvellous. There we are. There's my clue. Do you recognise that, gentlemen? That's my clue there just behind. The P of W. Yes? Can you see me just popping my head in the corner there? That's your that's Scotty McClue. And uh, where do I see that? I sure had one. My grandfather. Well, here he is here. Oh, there it's there. Yes, that's the one I was showing you. So that's that's Prince Charles and that's McClue. Amazing, isn't it? Right. There's my grandfather with my grandmother and two of his sons. Now, do you see how close his shave is? He's had a close shave. Now, uh, you know, he was a handsome guy. He was born in 1881. And uh, Geodog, he used to shave with a leather strap called a strop and an open razor. And I used to go in, but he didn't like my wee boy running about when he was shaving. And he used to shave and then wipe this thing and sharpen it on the leather, and then another, an open cutthroat razor. Now that's dodgy. <laughs> so never mind shaving with eyes that won't focus. You'll be using what we call the safety razor. Uh, Scotty, the adopted Yorkshireman. Do you know, Glenn, I must be the only man in the world 
who the Yorkshire people have genuinely 100% adopted and taken to their hearts because I used to entertain them every night for four years. <laughs> Was it three, three and a bit years? Good afternoon, Scotty. I hope you're doing well. When are you coming to Boston? So I'd love to come to Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. You know, I would love to come to Boston. Now, uh, let me just have a wee think here. You've got the Globe newspaper in Boston, haven't you? The Boston Globe. How about that? I'm not just an athlete, you know. I know my stuff. Scotty, you're like the doctor and the TARDIS traveling and spreading your wisdom to the public. Glenn, yes, I hope the public like it. The public are very clever. A fine way to put it, McClure. Ah, stare. I knew you'd like that one. <laughs> They're coming home, son. They're coming home. There's no need to shout and bawling. This man is the pinnacle of all we thrive to be in Scotland. That's your new title. Oh, Jim. Oh. So my titles are <laughs> Hashtag float I, fuzz lord of the internet. The world's top broadcaster. We don't make too much of that in case it puts a nose out of joint. Uh, the world's most humble man, in case anybody thinks I might be capable of the blow hard, blown my trumpet. Um, the father of feminism and the pinnacle of all we thrive to be in Scotland. Oh! I feel even more humble than usual. I will polish my halo. <laughs> there we go. We love you. Uh, when I shaved this morning, I started to shave. I realized I'd foamed up the mirror and <laughs> I've shaved the mirror before. <laughs> I put Tipex on my computer screen. <laughs> Uh, I'm in Middle England, the Midlands, MSN. As you know, Scotty McClure's massive in the Midlands. I used to broadcast to the Midlands. Yes, to the Midlands. Hey, Scotty. Scotland's a beautiful country and lovely people. Mark Hawkins, it sure is. But the world is beautiful, full of beautiful people. I mean, you know, look at the age of me. I've met one bad man, you know. Mind you, he was a very bad man. Now we embark the taking part, Scotty. <laughs> Or we'd have had it. Embrace, embrace, Jen. Ah, yes. What films have you been in? Oh, jaunty. Now you're talking. There was a very famous actor uh, called Bill Owen. He played Compo in Last of the Summer Wine. Lovely, lovely man. And Bill Owen was watching uh, a film, a movie one night with his family. And he said, Hang on a minute, I think I'm in this. <laughs> Scotty, England have a need to talk about Scotland losing. Not won the World Cup since 1966. Yeah, that's true. Mind you, we need to get Scotland winning the World Cup. Scotty, there's been a lot of failure with England as well. Glenn, I don't see it as failure. Remember, there can only be one winner. Otherwise, you've come second. Now, Scotland didn't win this afternoon, but they did come second. Now, I did the lottery the other night. I'm not a gambler, but I did the lottery. And I was only, I think, six numbers out from winning. Incredible. You know, so it was that, it was that close. That close. You know, so if that hadn't been off the bar, all sorts of things, you know. Uh, oh, Scotty Lowe, you're a sweet guy. Larwick Gal, we're just saying, sorry, am I too loud again? Because we said hush for we Ella. Yes, yes, indeed. Lovely, lovely. A finger heart from the beautiful Maria. You're such a princess, Maria. Scotty McClure, the laird of TikTok. Jackie, I might add that to my titles, the laird of TikTok. <laughs> is looking at the clock. Uh, what part of Scotland are you from, by the way? You don't have to say, I'm just curious. No, no, wizard, I'm very proud. I'm from the West Coast. Yes, hi, how's it going? If GB News want a proper journalist, they should get Scotty. Whoever has McClue has the market. MSN, 
You're very, very kind. But I can't argue with that, really, you know. I, I should say, oh, no, top, top. Hi from Tall Cross in Glasgow. We love Tall Cross in Glasgow, Cecilia. I know it very, very well. I used to travel through it every morning. Yes, indeed. And then if you go further up the road, you end up at the Lightburn Hospital and uh, the Queen's, the Queen's Ebon Estate. Is that right? There you go. What about that? Dashing, says Geodog. Are you dashing? <laughs> Are you off? Scotland lost today, says Angela. Angela, is that is that a fact? Wow, newsflash, everybody. Angela, we've been talking about that for the whole program. Uh, Kathleen says you're, she's dangerous. Are you dangerous, Kathleen? Do you remember the moon landing? Yes. Can you remember the first words? The first words, I don't think the first words were what they said about, you know, one small step for man and one giant step for mankind. I think that they had a look at the moon and thought, no way could a cow jump over that. You know, uh, strop. Now, there's a talent that's not easy. A strop, a strap, a leather strap. This thing had a, people may have seen them, I ride right just by the oldest bit. They had a wee clip at the end, and you put them onto the basin tap, and that held one end. You held the other end with a handle, took your razor and went, and sharpened it. Poor Scotland in the Euros losing today. Shakaroni! You don't say away. Yes, indeed, we know that. But we didn't lose. We just came second. Scotty, you're a very proud man regarding your family respect. Whereas you, Glenn, I respect everyone. I told you with a guy on, we we're talking about the Queen, and this half-wit said, uh, whose arrogance only was matched by his ignorance, said, I bow to nobody. And I said, I bow to everybody. <laughs> Hello from Bordeaux, my friend Scotty and France. Germany tomorrow, oui, je comprends. Uh, bonsoir, je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite, ainsi tu parles de mon. Peut-être je comprends, je t'aime Bordeaux, oui, avec un bouteille divan, oui, uh, Germany tomorrow. There we are, thank you, secondary school teacher, you trained us. Well, I did learn it, girl. I have to say, uh, so top stuff. Scotty is the Skype on. Glenn, the Skype's not. It's out of charge. But had I known. Now, I didn't say dangerous. I said from your Scottish friend, McMaster, from upstate New York. Ah, Kathleen, I've got you. We love you in upstate New York. Am I talking as I could talk in New York? I mean, you've got to ask me, how am I speaking? Is it any good? Happy days listening to your shows. Thanks for the happy times. Good health to you. Jessica, you are very, very kind. Okay, says Kathleen. Okay, Kathleen Angel, we love you in New York. Please give our love to New York across the sea, hands across the sea. I think I'll come to New York and I will do your late night radio and television. Yes, have you got some good shows I could, uh, I could appear on? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not just an athlete, you know. Uh, Scotty Boris Johnson's taking some stick regarding extending the lockdown. What's your opinion? Well, Glenn, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I'm not political, as you know. And I know Boris has got some, you know, some flaws, but we all have. And, um, you know, he's he's very charming. Do you see what I mean? He's very charming. So there you go. Whatever, whoever has McClure as the market. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. I mean, if a, if a radio or television station is genuinely seeking an audience, Scotty McClure's your man. What drink should I have in the pub, Scotty? Um, a fresh orange and soda water. That would be good for you. Uh, supine invertebrate jellies. Protoplasmic invertebrate jellies. Oh, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to uh, take them. Scotty, some people want Boris to step down. Glenn, probably, probably there'll be there'll be there'll be politicians. <laughs> you see, everybody wants to be prime minister. I don't know why. It's only a courtesy title. 
The real title is First Lord of the Internet. Are you wanting a tune on the squeeze box? <coughs> I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. <laughs> of love to all of you. Uh, Kaleleo says Boris has always said Boris has always said we can only move if the country's ready. Results from the tests show we're not ready. So we'll just have to get on with it. Scotland's slightly different because we have our own parliament, our own government, uh, you know, and uh, we are obviously a separate country from England. So, um, you know, we'll be doing slightly different things, but we'll no doubt find out what these are. Love you, Scotty. Thank you, says Jem. You too, Jem. Bless you. Is there any end to your many talents, Scotty? Oh, Mark, my talents are... You could, you could put them in your eye. Uh, best dirty joke, you know. Oh, joke the Coleman. He used to stay along the road from us, and he was always dirty because he delivered coal. I love it. Thank you for your playing. Kathleen, my darling, love to New York. Good night, everybody. Good night, Shakarone. Archive okay, the new. Hi, Scotty, says Luke. Love the squeeze box. Thank you, says Kathleen. Scotty, all the political parties are more or less the same. They are, Glenn. They like to keep the balance. You must have some earth-shattering flatulence. Well, Bumber King, it's a very, very closely guarded secret but I have been diagnosed with terminal flatulence. So, you know, I could actually bop uh, my way uh, to the end of my life. Uh, good night, Scott. Here, your squeeze box playing was lovely. Lerwick gal, that's so lovely, coming from Lerwick, where the squeeze box is axiomatic. Have you ever had a night in Ashton Lane in Glasgow? Oh, many a night in there, Kalelio, and enjoyed every second of it. Let me put it this way, if I said to you, the chip, yes, I'll tell you what else I used to do, I used to go to the auctions in Ashton Lane, beautiful Ashton Lane's amazing, remember I went to the university around the corner, there we are, what do you think about the Scotland game, well, we came second and that's pretty good, you know, so second prize, uh, can you give me a joke about coal, a joke about coal, what can I give you a joke about coal? Um, I'll give you a joke about coal. Um, hmm. It's quite a serious subject, coal, you know, because of the, all the, the tough guys and the suffering when they had to actually mine it. So there we are. Yes, I can give you a joke about coal. Yes, I've got it. But I can't tell it. Uh, publicly, you know what I mean. Uh, please call Hinkley's Castle Mead Radio to get them in the airwaves. Support Hospital Radio. We love Hospital Radio MSN. That's where a lot of very senior broadcasters have actually trained Hospital Radio. Can I come and live with you, Jem? What a beautiful thing to say. Thank you. Hey, can you give a shout out to Jack? I can. Cheery bye, Lord Scotty. Good night. God bless my darlings. What type of horse is that? That's a flying horse. 
That's Pegasus. Yes, he who goes to heaven must mount to ride on Pegasus. On Pegasus must ride. He who mounts to heaven on Pegasus must ride. I think that's it. Did you ever grace the Wraith Ballroom in Kirkcaldy? Jackie, that's a wee treat I've denied myself, but I've graced many pups in Kirkcaldy in my time and loved every second of it. So there we are. But what's the matter with people? This is your. You are. <laughs> Absolutely, is it? Hello from Denmark. Poor match today. Uh, no, no, not if you, uh, not if you're Czechoslovakia. I love you. God bless you. Good night. God bless Scotty. And well done to Czechoslovakia. And well done to Scotland for coming a very close second. Dig it out. Funny coal and diamonds are made from the same thing. Carbon. Absolutely. Oh, wow. We're trying to get rid of carbon. Think of the wonderful things it's done. Used to be the wee rods in the batteries. Remember that, Geodog? I must dash and dinky do. Good night. God bless, my darlings. Thank you so much for watching. You're very, very kind and very beautiful. Remember to stay fabulous. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every single one of you. And I will sing you the goodbye song. Here is the gorgeous Maria Knight sending me good nights. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Join in. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A wieder then, au revoir, and a cheery oh. Good night, my darlings. Thank you so much. Sleep well and good morning if you're in Australia and uh, hi in the middle of the night if you're in America and we say... Ta-da, love! Dinky-doo!